A new way to help vulnerable populations is in the works for Wichita. City Council approves a plan to create a one-stop shop bringing multiple agencies together in one space. KSN's Asia Simone Smith joins us now with how organizations are collaborating. Asia? Jeff, the center will work with various organizations that provide social services, including shelter, crisis centers, and health care providers. The plan is to have all resources in one location to make the process of helping people get back on their feet a lot smoother. People in our community who de are dealing with homelessness also are dealing with the lack of transportation. A facility to provide multiple needed resources is coming soon to Wichita. We want to be housing because we recognize we have a housing issue. Homelessness is a housing issue. The multi-agency center will also unite different social services. The Mental Health and Substance Abuse Coalition will be working with the city to connect with different groups. The benefit of having organizations in close proximity is we really wrap services around the human being. We bring the services to the client. Individual organizations say it can be difficult to provide extensive care for vulnerable people. We have limitations in resources in the hours that we can be open and the availability of immediate housing and those kinds of things. If we can get in a big enough space and have the cooperation of large enough to have that soft handoff, that'll be fabulous. Petra is the organization planning the project. They are still working with the city on the location. Downtown adjacent, walkable. I don't know that we would be able to identify land actually in the core. They also have to decide if it will be one building or a campus style facility. Another obstacle is more funding. We have to identify the operational funding for the non-congregate shelter, the congregate shelter, and even some of the navigation services. The $5.5 million grant is only expected to cover affordable housing and a shelter with individual units. We need to come up with some short-term solutions. The, the MAC itself is really a longer-term solution. The goal is to have the project moving forward by March of next year. The city has partnered with two national consultants to decide the best plan for providing all the resources in one location. Here for you, Asia Simone Smith, KSN News 3.